Hey, this is Chris. Welcome to my solar powered kitchen. Today's video is going to show you guys that I am running my dishwasher on solar power. I've got the kilowatt meter hooked up and we'll show you where I'm at. I just started it about oh, 15 20 minutes ago. I have the dishwasher on the highest setting, heated wash and heated dry pots and pans, so it will uh It'll be the worst case scenario for using power, but it's a very sunny day and I got power coming in, so let's get started. Real quickly, the uh, coffee pot is on my solar circuit, TV, fridge, lighting, and the microwave up here. But as you can see, dishwasher is on. Let me get up close here and show you. Get it on heavy, high heat, high temp. And right now, it looks like we're using about a lot of power. Well, it was. It switches back and forth. Gosh, I wish I would have hit that when it was on high watts. Amps is less than an amp right now. And this is the kilowatt hours. Right now, I'm about 0.28. Go back to a watt. Choo -choo. All right. So, how the heck did I hook up my dishwasher to my solar circuit? Well, I'll show you. Dishwasher comes with a standard 120 volt three prong, you know. And where it was hooked up, underneath here. And I did this myself, by the way. It was just hooked up underneath the, uh, right in here in the outlet. You can see back there. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but right there. So I disconnected that and ran the cable from going that way, made it go this way. And got my hole saw out and drilled a hole through the cabinet because there's a lip right there, right? Got a heavy duty extension cord here. And then, oh my goodness. Oh. As you can see back there, I drilled another little hole on the back side of the cabinet, which goes behind the cabinet here. Move some of this stuff out of the way here. Back in here into the refrigerator circuit. This outlet or plug right here, I'm going to change this out to a 90 degree one, similar to the fridges there. But I also have it on a uh, surge protector too. High joule rating. So it takes the stress out of uh, you know the ons and offs and all that stuff. But that's essentially it. Just drilling a couple holes in the cabinets down here. And uh, you're good to go. It was messy, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it was messy, but uh, it's on solar, it's on solar and it's doing really good. So I'll just leave that go right there, there it is, let's walk out to the garage. And so in my last video I have the dishwasher, or the uh, clothes washer on solar circuit now. I just kind of stringed up some cable back there for now. I kind of like having an extension cord just in case I need to use power in the house on something weird that I need to do. So I left a little bit of slack in there. Turn the light on here. This is my solar stuff. And I am kicking butt on power today. Kicking butt. I'm only using 400 watts in the house right now. And my, my battery bank is at 29.7 and it's in absorb mode, it's almost in float mode. Let's see how much time I got left here. Status. Main menu. Timer. I got about 28 minutes, 27 minutes left in absorb and I'll be fully charged. 
and I'm still doing my dishes on high heat cycle. That rocks. That rocks. But the um, dishwasher circuit is on my A right here. So I'm going to relabel this refrigerator and dishwasher because it's a 15 amp circuit and no problem running the dishwasher and the refrigerator at the same time. There's my boy checking things out here in the garage. Okay, and that's how you do it. Next video is going to be this high HD TV attic antenna I just put together and I'll show you a video on how that works. But that's essentially going to be running my garage cave, man cave TV in here. Because in the winter time, this garage stays pretty warm. And I can sit out here and watch my solar equipment operate and TV and football and all kinds of cool stuff. So, all right, thanks for watching and uh, hope this video helps you do dishes on solar. <coughs> Excuse me. Take care and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later.